We're asked to find the limit of this sequence as n goes to infinity, and it's a pretty interesting looking sequence. The thing to notice right off the bat is that you have the same denominator in every single one of these terms. That suggests that you can combine all the numerators, and when you do that, you notice that you actually have a series up here in the numerator. It's the series starting at i equals 1 and going to n of just i squared. And I guess the question is, does that add up to something in terms of n? In other words, can we rewrite this series in the numerator in some way? And the answer is yes. You might have to look back to your notes when you were doing Riemann sums all the way back in calculus 1, but this series that we have in the numerator actually adds up to this. So let's replace that numerator. I'm going to pull the 1 sixth outside, and I'm going to start multiplying out the numerator. I'll move this up a little bit and continue multiplying out the numerator. I'll combine some like terms now, and I suppose we can multiply that 1 sixth through the numerator. And at this point, we can split that numerator back up into three pieces and divide each one of these three pieces by n cubed. Dividing this first term by n cubed gives us 1 third. Dividing the second term by n cubed gives us 1 over 2 times n. And dividing the third term by n cubed gives us 1 over 6 times n squared. And finally, we can answer the question, what happens as n goes to infinity? Well, as n goes to infinity, these last two terms go to 0. So the sequence goes to 1 third, and that is our answer. Okay, I hope that this helps you out, and I hope that you check out the next video. I'll see you there.